anytime a landlord that you're putting something in writing, anytime that you're sending an email blast out or letters to your tenants, just be really careful of your wording and your verbiage. Make sure that you are in compliance. Make sure that you're not saying anything in those letters because I've seen a lot of them flying around lately that can get your get yourself into some trouble. Well, can you expand on that? Like, uh, can you give me an example or two of specific things that landlords have said in some of these letters mm -hmm. you've seen online uh, that would, you know, run afoul of fair housing or something yes, else of that Absolutely. Nature. I've seen some that have come across that say things that are threatening. So, for instance, um, you know, we understand that there's an eviction, but we're going to just go ahead and cut off utilities or we're still going to come out and put you out because we have to run a business. Those are things that you don't want to say, you don't want to write, and you don't want to give um, those type of threats to individuals. There are laws that protect us as landlords, and we will make sure that we are following those processes and making sure that we take advantage of those laws that protect us, but just not making idle threats that can be used against us, even, um, even if not in law, just as a perception of your company kind of being jerks. Well, absolutely, and, and you know that, that, that's a huge thing, guys. There's a lot of you out there right now uh, that maybe you're just like super small time landlords and you've been chugging along and maybe you haven't dealt with a lot of tenants who are not paying their rent. And right now, more than ever, you're dealing with tenants not paying their rent and you're having a hard time figuring out how to handle it. And maybe, you know, you've lost your own job too. And I understand you're trying to feed your family, but it's very important to understand your landlord tenant laws. Guys, I can't think of a state in the United States of America uh, that self-help evictions are legal. And that's what she was referring to. When you actually go out there and say, hey, even though the courts are closed, we're going to turn your power off or we're going to change your locks. Or, you know, mm -hmm. I've even heard of landlords super gluing locks, yes. things of that nature. Those, the, that's what's called a self-help eviction. Doing any of those actions or threatening to do any of those actions, to my knowledge, is illegal in all 50 states. Now, I know there's going to be some freaking jerk off on, on yes. YouTube out there right now, like, no, I live in blah, 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 county of blah, blah, blah state. We could actually, all right, maybe, you know, outside of like one or two random counties in the country that, that I'm unaware of, it's possible. But more or less, if you're watching this show right now, I, I would venture to guess that 99.9% .9 of everyone watching this show right now, you do not have the legal right or authority to, to do a self-help eviction. Right. So you are just gonna burn yourself by yes. making rash decisions like that.